Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. DE10 Nano Field Programmable Gate Array Board. In our initial setup video, we showed you how to get the Mr. up and running and how to update the cores with the update script. But there's so much more the Mr. can do that's not a part of the official update package, so we need to install the update all script, and that's going to allow us to bring down a ton more arcade cores as well as console cores that are not official or not fully done. It's a super safe procedure, 99.9% .9 of everything is going to work fine and the things that don't work just give you an error message but just showing some of the capcom play system cores that joteco have made these are cores that you want on your mister and they're not cores that you're going to get if you just use the standard update script so before we get too far involved you're going to be a huge favor go down below hit like subscribe and that notification bell it definitely helps us out smash it like hagar smashes people and if you feel so inclined we got a patreon link down there as well if you want to support the channel but getting scripts onto your mister is not very difficult whatsoever. I will leave the update all mister github link down below. If I remember, I always forget. So if I do, remind me, please. But all you need to do is look through the notes to find out exactly what's going to happen. And even though this is safe, I've tested it and so many people have, it's always good to read the notes. So what it's going to do is combine the main mister update. This is from the like true fork of the project. And it's also going to give you some other updates as well for different snaps compatible adapters for controllers. It's important, sort of, but not for this video. We're going to get the Jotago core updates. That's going to give us all of those great arcade cores and other things he's worked on, except it's not going to give us CPS2. That's still a Patreon project only, hopefully soon. We're going to get unofficial core updates, and those are going to be some of the cores that are pretty stable but not quite ready and then just going down the line you're going to see the other things you're going to get but the great thing about this other than the cores is you're going to get all the bios files from archive.org for the different platforms and it's going to download all the roms from archive.org as well every once in a while the link doesn't work and it's not going to be a hundred percent of the roms that you're looking for but as far as the heavy hitters you're going to get pretty much all of that and then it's just going to allow you to have different ways to update the text and to organize your files but to install this all you need to do is download the zip file and extract it and you drag update all into the script folder on your mister and you'll see here as i go through the different scripts on the card you're going to see i don't have an update all script so all i'm going to do is copy and paste that over into that folder via the usb micro sd card just whatever adapter you have will work perfectly fine just drag it over copy and paste it over and then you're going to have everything you need to be able to start updating your mister with the update all script now that we have that in there we'll just move over to the mister screen and just like every other script we execute we have to go down to the scripts option and as usual it's going to give us the warning that it's a dangerous operation you can say no yes or yes and don't ask again if you're leery and you want to test this just make a backup micro sd card and check all the updates on a burner card before you put it on your main mister installation i don't do that but if you're just nervous it's always a great rule of thumb and all you do is come up here and select update all and if you hit the following button you'll see it there i'll put it up on the screen you'll get to the settings before it updates and i do appreciate that this is an option you're going to see we have the main updater enabled and the jotago updater enabled but the unofficial core updater is disabled i wanted those unofficial cores they're not going to be much of a problem for the mister whatsoever so you need to go into that option and enable that. Otherwise, it's not going to download those and prep them to get into your mister. So all you do is go activated true or activated false. True is going to be yes, I want them. True false is a little bit of a strange acronym. I like yes or no. I did not enable some of these you're going to see here the bios getter i want the mame rom getter i want the hb mame rom getter i want i don't really care about the text names the arcade organization is good so what you want to do before you hit exit and run update all you'll just save this option menu to the ini file that way when you run the update script again it's going to update everything you've already selected it to but all you need to do is hit exit and run update all and it's going to prep you into everything that you want but like i said saving that initialization file is going to be a real time saver in the future and then you'll see here it's going to go through the sequence of what it's going to pull down and I will tell you, this is going to take over half an hour. Through the magic of editing, of course, I've sped this up greatly. And every once in a while, you are going to get an error message that it can't find the right ROM file or BIOS file on archive.org. It'll spit out a log of what it didn't find. So if you really want those, you can go and manually install them. But I've yet to notice anything that it missed. I do know it missed a few things, but those aren't games I played. 
So your mileage may vary depending on what it was or wasn't able to get. But as far as all the really good games, all the Capcom Play System stuff, the other arcade cores, it didn't miss anything for me whatsoever. And it was great. So I highly recommend just, you know, not really worrying about it. But once it's done, like I said, about a half an hour, you're going to see that it's going to say rebooting and it's going to bring you right back to the main Mr. Menu like it normally would. The biggest noticeable change that you're going to see is that the snow in the background has changed. I kind of miss the old snow, but honestly, it doesn't really matter whatsoever. But if you see that, you know everything was successful. And if we go into the arcade core here, you're going to see a ton more cores ready to go. It's going to expand your Mr. Library immensely. And I really love the update all script for this because it just gives you things that update script does not. This is kind of like next level mr stuff but you'll see here i always test i don't know why i just love this game so much bubble bobble the arcade version and of course like everything on mr it's running near perfectly if there are any differences compared to the arcade pcb i don't see them i have an arcade pcb for this game i have this game on the fm towns marty i have this game on like five or six different platforms and of course they'll have minor differences but this compared to the arcade PCB, if it's not perfect, I certainly don't know, and you're probably not going to either. And just kind of going through the list, there's just so much great stuff to play. And that's why I love the Update All Core, because you would never get this if you just used Update. And I've tested the Update All across multiple different misters. I've never once had a problem, because I don't like recommending things if I haven't personally tested them. Of course, I know they're safe even before I test them. That little screen jiggle there is just part of the you know, ROM being launched. That's not anything to worry about. But even though I know these are safe, before I make videos about them, I test them on my own personal equipment to make sure that you guys are going to have a good experience because if you're watching my videos that means you might need a little bit of help and I want you to have that. But having Dodon Pachi or however you pronounce it, I'm probably saying it wrong, this is like a $2,000 arcade PCB. All the cave shmups go for a fortune and this is hardware level emulation of an incredibly expensive and very very good shmup and in one core alone you're playing an extremely rare game if you actually owned it as a physical copy and that's just incredible that's what i love so much about the mister and especially with the update all script is you're playing things that you're never going to see in arcades in the u.s if there is an arcade with this game i don't know about it you'll probably see a few in japan but these pcbs go for crazy money amongst collectors i don't own any cave pcbs i would love to but i'm not dropping the thousands upon thousands of dollars but the biggest thing about this update script is getting all those Jotago cores. We have every single Capcom Play System game ever made, including CP System Dash. And like I said, if you're not a member of this Patreon, I highly recommend you become one. Not only does he deserve a lot of reward and credit for working on all these cores, that's how you get the still in beta Capcom Play System 2 cores. Now I have a CPS2 board in my closet with a Darksoft Multi on it and some original cartridges, so I already have the ability to play every single CPS2 game ever made, but I'll say that the fan on the Mister is a hell of a lot quieter than the fan on my CPS2, and I've even changed that out. They're known for being about as loud as, honestly, that jet engine in the background right now. But again, you're playing Street Fighter, and that's just amazing, and big thanks to Jotago for doing so much incredible work on all of these cores. He keeps making things, releasing them every Friday, and it's so much fun to see what he's working on next, because I really want to know what he's going to be working on after the CPS2 stuff. And once he's done, that will be released to the public, and that update all core will be how you get that. So not just having that script now is beneficial, but continually refreshing it when new things come out. I like to update my mister once a week, maybe once every two weeks if I forget, and that kind of keeps it fresh and current for me. You're going to be downloading more stuff on that update all script than you know what to do with, and I mean, it's a good problem to have, and even here playing Ghosts and Goblins or Dai Makiyamura, this is also, again, a really expensive PCB, and this plays as good as my original copy that I have sitting next to me in the closet right now. But on top of all the arcade stuff, that's where my heart really lies. You're going to get some new console cores as well. Not that many, but one of the ones that comes down is the Atari Lynx. And that's great to have because there's a lot of fun games on that. And honestly, not many people actually own a Lynx. So it's really good to have that in the rotation as well. But short of that, that is the update all script. I highly recommend it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'm happy to help each and every one of you. Like I mentioned earlier, if you could do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Definitely helps us out. But I will be back with more mr videos coming up very shortly and i'll have videos for the rest of the week as well thanks so much for watching guys bye bye